Let's begin our class today with a binomial expansion. Okay, this is the topic where I personally myself as well. I only study before exam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, because this topic is a bit disjointed compared to other topics. You don't use it, use this technique unless if you want to use uh, unless before exams. Uh, you only use this technique for this topic, and it's all about patterns. So once you can recognize the patterns, once you get used to it, then you'll be quite good in it. Okay, the mastery level is going to take around two to three hours. Then you are fine with this topic, and it has one of the most marks in exams because the workings are long. So, but it's it's not that bad compared to chapter two where there's a lot of patterns. This one, the patterns are quite the same. So hopefully by tonight, inshallah, you go well. Okay, let's have a look on the relevance of this topic. If I give to you something like this, a plus b to the power of one, hey, nothing, no much problem, sir. A plus b, a plus b squared. How do you solve? A squared plus two ab plus b squared. Now, what about a a plus b cube? Most of, most of us will solve it this way, a plus b, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, and then we start to expand them one by one, rainbow technique. Oh, that's ugly rainbow there. Eh? <laughs> You're going to get yourself a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Now, what about if we go a plus b to the power of 4? Things started to go very, very messy and very, very quickly. a4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed plus b4. How do I know about this? What? So quickly. How do I get this so quickly? I just read the, our paper. <laughs> I don't memorize the formula. <laughs> and a, b to the power of 5. Yeah, 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 I know I'm genius. <laughs> okay, and that. There are a few interesting things I would like you to see. Maybe I should have write down a bit quite better. Okay, class, uh, see this. Okay, uh, what power is this? One and one. And now? Squared and squared. Three and three. Four and four. Five and five. So we started to see a few patterns here, and we can also say here is 1 and 1. Here is 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, uh, see, see this, 2, 1, 1, 2, okay? 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 4. Can you see the symmetrical? Five, four, one, three, two, two, three, one, four, five. So the patterns are emerging, which we can say if I were to draw down one here, one, 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 two, one, one. One, three, three, one, one, four, six, three, three, six, four, one, one, five, ten, five, one. So this is what we call this triangle here is what we call ourselves a Pascal triangle. Pascal. 
ये आजा He is the one who came up with this. It's a it's a Braille Pascal that we go and through the other day. Okay, the genius. So if we have a look, if we have a look again, if we have a look again, like a b to the power of three, it it remains the power of three all the time. Okay, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, I, I should have mentioned this. This a cube, right? Is there b? There is but b to the power of zero. Three plus zero, three. This one here, two plus one, three. One plus two, where's a? A zero. Okay, same goes for here. Is there any b? Yes, there is B, B is zero. Four plus zero, four. Three plus one, four. Two plus two, four. One plus three, four. Where's A? A zero. Zero plus four, four. So four is always there. Same goes to our original two, one, one, two, two. So that's a little bit of the patterns. So now let's try. Let's say if I just give you something as, as easy as this. A plus B to the power of 4. Which one is power 4? Gonna be here, right? 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Yeah. Uh, so how is it going to work is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 That is your coefficient What do I mean the coefficient? Like if I give you A squared plus uh, A plus B squared I got myself one, two, one. Okay, can you see? One, two, one. So when I put one, four, six, four, one, I get myself here. Can you see? One, four, six, four, one. That's a triangle. Pascal triangle. Is it practical for our exam, sir? Yeah. I, I've met some... Uh, to be honest with you, I, I, I rarely use Braille... I, I rarely use Pascal Triangle. Jarang pakai. But I've seen several of my friends who's genius, genius friend. They, they use this quite a lot. I, I got one of my friends who's the legendary genius, you see. Tomorrow we have final exams. Everybody is group studying or whatever last minute studying. And this guy is reading manga on the, on the computer. <laughs> He's reading comics. So when it's finally midnight, 12 midnight, before we go to sleep, I mean, I mean you, your last minute study, you haven't finished yet. And suddenly he, he, he got up from his computer, he came to us and he said this line, I am an exorcist. He go to sleep. <laughs> Disclaimer is reading the gray man. And I remember he, he used Brill Pascal to solve his math questions. Okay, so maybe you find it's useful. Personally, I rarely use it. That guy is crazy. Don't be like him. Okay, so how do we solve this question? It's, it's a lot easier if you try to solve it and you see the pattern. Let's say if I give you... This is the normal pattern. 
a power of n plus n1 a n minus 1 b power of 1 this is not included in your lecture notes so I recommend you to copy them and 2 a n minus 2 b2 as you can see n minus 1 plus 1 we become n again all right over here just now we have discussed b0 n plus 0 n so we're always going to get n n minus 2 plus b2 n plus uh, plus dot 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 and as we go further n r a n minus r b r plus dot 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 dot, dot plus and finally, b power of n. And this is what it's going to look like. And you might start to wonder, sir, I don't understand the thing, sir. <laughs> don't, don't worry so much. We'll go through the examples over and over again. And inshallah, you'll start to understand them. Okay, so let's go some practical. Okay, uh, someone might, might start be asking, can I borrow some calculator? Black or silver? Okay. Thank you very much. And someone asked me, sir, sir, what is this N1, sir? It means NCR. NCR. You see your calculator here. Where is this? Here. K5 C2. Okay, so we'll go through them, the examples. Let's go to the easy one. Something that we are familiar with. A plus B squared. Bless you. Oh, Ya Ramukallah, Ya Ramukillah. Ya Ramukillah is for girls, Ya Ramukallah is for guys. It means basically bless you. <laughs> I mean, uh, for, 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 for Muslim students, I highly recommend you say that you got free pahala anyway. So A plus B squared, how do we solve this one? I mean, by using this system. Firstly, uh, firstly A squared, alright? A squared. And then plus, this one here, N1, right? So it becomes 2, 1. Then A n minus 1 our n is what our n is 2 okay can you see the connection so 2 minus 1 1 and then b1 okay it's increased by 1 this one increase this one decrease 2 1 this one increases now here is b0 so it's increased Plus, and then A increase again, A0, B increase again, B2. And as you can see, the last one, the final, is just BN without the NCR. And as people can ask, sir, 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 why not this the NCR, sir? Okay, you can go further. Here is 2, 0. Here is 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2. And you can press your calculator. 2, C, 0, 1. 1, A squared. Plus, 2, C, 1. 2, A, B. A, 1, B, 1. Plus, 2, 2. You press this in your calculator. 1 A0 1 B squared Okay, so that's a very very way to go manual for this question Until here, are you guys okay? You want me to re-explain again? So as you can see here 2 0 2 1 2 2 and what will happen to the power? We take this one we go here 2 and then A it become decrease B is increasing Alright, and as you can see 2 plus 0 2 1 plus 1, 2, 0 plus 2, 2. We got back the same n over here. 
Okay, now let's go a bit harder. What about A plus B cube? You can argue, firstly, is 3, 0, or you don't have to write down yet. Firstly, A cube, increase one, this one, plus 3, 1. Well, what happened to A? The power decreased, right? Decreased to 2. What happened to B? B increased. Let's go to a different color. One plus what's next? Three two. And what happened to A? A one, B two. How how am I going to know I got this number correct? One and two. One plus two three equals to this one here. Can you see the pattern? Let's continue. And finally three three is one. You don't have to write down. A becomes. Decrease again, A0, 0, 0, 1, B, increase again, B3. Can you see the pattern? So it's not that difficult once you see the pattern. And then so what about 3, 1 and 3, 2? How do you get 3, 1 and 3, 2? 3, C1. So this one here is 3, 3, 2, 3, C2, 3. So rewrite whole thing, A3 plus 3A squared B plus 3A B squared plus B cubed. Or you might want to use Pascal triangle, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3 1. Can you see that? I remember that's how my friends, the, the Exosis friend did his work. And of course, secretly, you kind of like, <coughs> damn you for, for, for reading comics at the middle of the night before exams. I think I'm going to tag him in this video. <laughs> uh, good thing about him, he's uh, quite, quite a cool guy. You can ask for help and he's he's chill out guy. Yeah, I mean... And you, do, you don't hate him. He, he, help, he helps you if you're in trouble. So without me helping you, he's a good friend. We play games. And he beat me, of course. Genius. Okay, can you solve this question? On your own, good luck. Oh yeah, and he said this to me once. Uh, I blame, I sort of blaming my teacher, I guess for not teaching properly and he said, oh, you cannot survive on your own. And you're like, damn you. <laughs> so so the, the thing that he kind of teach me is that if the teacher is not really teaching you that well, try to survive on your own. I mean, try to find a way. And I should not be blaming my teacher. My teacher teach quite well. So in the end, you can blame only yourself if you don't do that well. Okay, try. Good luck. Do you have the answer? Don't look at the answer. Try on your own. Done. That quick, ah? Wow. We got a genius here. Okay, I'll give you one minute to get it done. 30 seconds lah. Come on lah. I bear quite a lot just now. <laughs> And of course, you can go further with A plus B power of 5. You might even want to use Pascal's triangle if you're confident with it. I'll be honest with you, I'm not myself. I I'm one of you who, you know, 1 plus 1 equals to 2 in exams. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm not that horrible. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Done already? Without looking at the solution? Sure. Ah. 
S kamera Please ada Well in the name of Dota The future leaders of Malaysia oh, well. <laughs> I hope Malaysia will be well in under your hand <laughs> Maybe quite elderly people at that time so if you use Pascal Triangle quite well on your own just now Oh there's no answer here written quite well A4 plus Ah yeah 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 I remember another way of doing things A4 A3 B1 plus A2 2 A2 B2 plus A1 B3 plus B4 Oh what about the number? Well, you just need to remember your Pascal triangle, and I'm not going to do them, it's quite long. 14641. And we are done. Okay, A plus B power 5. A5 plus A4 B1 plus A3 B2 plus. A2, B3, plus A1, B4, plus B5. What about the number? 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. We are genius. <laughs> okay, so that's the basic of Pascal triangle or basic or binomial.